Health concerns this morning in North County after a study recently found high levels of radiation inside a school. Our Sydney Stallworth is joining us live at Janet Elementary this morning with what parents need to know, especially if they want to chime in on student safety. Good morning, Sydney. Good morning to you, Michelle. That's exactly right. You know, we've been following this story for months and it's centered right here at Jana Elementary. Now this school is sat next to Coldwater Creek, where believe it or not, radioactive materials from bombs used during World War II uh, was dumped there back in the 1940s. Now there's an independent study that found that the effects of the radiation are so present today and that the radiation itself has made its way into the school. Now some of the parents of students here that we talked to say they they just want a solution and they'll have the chance to speak out on this later tonight at 630. There's going to be a Hazelwood School Board meeting at the HSD Learning Center on New Halls Ferry Road. The address is right there up for you on your screen. Now, here's what sparked this concern. Back in August, an independent study was done by the Boston Chemical Data Corporation. The test results reveal high radioactive levels inside Jana Elementary's cafeteria, the library, the boiler room, and even on playground areas specifically in the kindergarten play area near the basketball court. Now, after this report started to circulate, the Hazelwood School District posted a statement on Facebook saying they're consulting attorneys and experts to determine which steps come next. Now, before the Boston Group study, the Army Corps of Engineers did a radiation study of its own, but found much lower levels of radioactivity. The Army Corps of Engineers didn't take any samples inside the school or on the playground. Now, the Boston Chemical Data Corporation did. In a statement, by the Army, Army Corps. They say that the independent report from the Boston Chemical Data Corporation is not consistent with its quote accepted evaluation techniques and that quote any contamination posing a high risk or immediate threat would be made a priority for remediation. Now we did speak with an expert from the Boston group who weighs in on the potential health risk of their independent study findings. If we inhale some of these radioactive materials, they can actually get stored in our bodies where they're a hazard to us for many years. Now, we spoke with the president of Jana's PTA who told us that their stance is that the school needs to clean up any radioactive materials immediately. We'll see what happens at the meeting later on tonight. Reporting in Florissant, I'm Sydney Stallworth, 5 on your side.